Fish come in an amazing variety. There are roughly 34,000 species of fish, which is more than the combined total of mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and birds. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the characteristics of fish. So let's get started with some common characteristics. First, fish are vertebrates. This means that they have a vertebral column, which is a group of vertebrae separated by mobile joints. Fish have fins, and these are used for balance and to help them propel forward and steer through the water. Most fish have two types of fins, single fins, which are found along the center line, and paired fins. Fish are cold-blooded, which means that they are ectothermic. This means that they are unable to regulate their body temperature and rely on the outside environment for their temperature. On the outside of the skin, most fish have scales. These overlap in rows and help protect the fish against injuries and infection. In order to breathe underwater, fish have developed gills. The gills are found on the side of the fish just behind the head and contain thousands of capillaries or tiny blood vessels. Water moves over these gills which filter the oxygen out of the water and then into the fish's blood. Fish have a unique internal organ called a swim bladder or maybe an air bladder. It's usually found near the abdomen and it helps the fish move up and down in the water. Also another common characteristic among fish is that they live in water. But there are some fish that can spend a large amount of time out of the water. Mud skippers for instance can eat and interact with each other on land. Thanks for watching and remember kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.